Hello YouTube, XCT here. In this video we are solving Armageddon, a really easy 20-point machine on Hack the Box that involves a Drupal Gaddon exploit, reading and cracking a password from the database, and finally exploiting sudo snap install. So as always, we start with a port scan and we can see that um, there's SSH and an Apache web server. And Nmap already found here that this is a Drupal version 7 installation. And judging from the name Armageddon and this famous Drupal Gaddon exploit we had a while back, um, we can already guess what the exploit will be. But um, let's just have a look um, at the website as well. And it just looks like that. Um, nothing too interesting on there, not even uh, some content or whatever. So let's just go straight to Metasploit, search for Drupal Gaddon, and use the exploit. All right, that worked. Um, we are the Apache user, so we probably have to do another hop before we can get the user flag. Uh, we can see that there's another user called Bruce, the real admin. Um, let's see if we can list home. Nope, we can't. So we probably have to find um, some kind of password, right? So Drupal stores its settings um, inside the sites directory and then in the directory for the specific site, in this case default. Let's read the settings.php file, scroll up a bit. And here we find some database credentials. Um, it might be a good try to use this password for this user, but I already know it won't work. But yeah, that's something you can always try when you find the password. So let's instead try to connect to the database. So an interactive um, MySQL shell um, it's a bit tricky here. It kind of works, but it throws you out if you make a syntax error. So it's a bit annoying. Um, we'll just use the non-interactive uh, syntax here. So let me copy that. MySQL minus U for the user, minus P for password, um, database Drupal, and then which query you want to execute. In this case, show tables to see which tables exist. And at the bottom here, we see there's a users table. So Let's just select everything from that table. Here we go. And we can see that the um, admin user has a hash start here. So let's copy that. Maybe we can crack it, right? Let's save that under, I don't know, Bruce. And then let's run John with the rockyou.txt word list on this hash. And here we go, we got the password which is boo boo. So let's SSH into the box. Here we go, that worked and we can read the user flag. Now for root, we can um, execute an interesting command with sudo as root, which is um, snap install with a wildcard. So we will be able to install a snap package, which will be done with root privileges. So basically we just have to find um, how to create a malicious or yeah, like a snap package that does something useful for us, right? If you just Google for malicious snap package and scroll a bit, you'll find the Sturdy Sock repository um, or let's go to this blog post by um, OXDF. And he is also writing here that there's this dirty sock exploit, and this is also using a malicious snap package as a payload. So we can just steal that one instead of building our own, right? So let's copy that. Just going to paste that here, and I wrapped it into Python, so it will be printed to the console. Then we just want to base64 decode it and pipe it to a file. Like that. Now we should have our package here. All right. So now all we have to do is um, to use sudo snap install with our package, right? So let's do that. Let's give it our local directory, the file name, and then we have to give it two flags um, the dangerous flag and the dev mode flag. And we basically need these because our package is not signed and it's coming from a local file. So let's execute that. And that seems to have worked, the sturdy sock thing was installed. And if you read the description of the exploit, um, you will see that it creates a user called dirty sock, which um, can become root, right? So let's uh, switch to the user. The 
password is just like the username uh, dirty sock. And now we can see that dirty sock is allowed to run any command as any user, so we can become root. And we can read the uh, root flag. And that's basically it for the box. If you want another payload, you can modify the package from the exploit. Um, it's really not many steps that are needed. You can just um, create the file again, like we did it on the remote box. And then you can use unsquashfs like that. Um, you give it a directory where you want to unpack the payload. Let's just call it um, pay here. And now in temp pay, we have the payload. And in the meta directory, there's a hooks directory and an install um, file. And whatever you write into this file will be executed as root. So you can put some other payload in here if you like. And then you can just use mk squashfs to pack the whole thing again and copy it to the target and execute it. So that's it from my side. I know this video was a bit short, but there wasn't really uh, much on this box. So if you liked the video, please subscribe and see you next time.